Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have suffered another PR disaster as they reportedly plan to hold Archie Harrison's christening behind closed doors. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's first-born child Archie Harrison is expected to be christened behind closed doors away from the media at the weekend. But, the royal couple has faced criticism for their decision, which comes just a week after it was revealed the British taxpayer has had to stump up £2.4 million for the renovation of their home, Frogmore Cottage. Duncan Larcombe, a former royal editor at The Sun, claimed Meghan and Prince Harry were suffering PR disasters week in week out. He told Good Morning Britain, My personal concern with Harry, as I say, I have known him since he was a teenager. I think he is a fantastic guy. When you see these PR disasters, week in week out, which we have increasingly seen in the past few months. I worry for Harry because I think he deserves to be incredibly popular, so does Meghan. Good Morning Britain host Piers Morgan stepped in, claiming the Duke of Sussex doesn't think through the potential suggestion of hypocrisy when making decisions. He said, I don't think he thinks these things through very well. He gives this big climate change speech, we have all got to do more. Then he gets a helicopter to Birmingham, which is a two-hour car journey. He doesn't think through the potential suggestion of hypocrisy. I worry about who is advising him, or if they are advising him well, why he is overriding the advice. Viscountess Hinchingbrook, Julie Montague, an American entrepreneur defended the couple, but claimed Prince Harry has always broken the rules. She said, here's the thing, he has just become a parent, seven weeks, they are still learning. Maybe they didn't expect this backlash. Harry has always broken the rules. We have never seen him really abide by the rules. Let's be honest, he has never really wanted to be part of this royal family. He has always broken the rules, take a step back, his mother died and that has massively affected him. I think for them, they will be in the public eye as a couple. But for Archie now, it's a seven-week-old baby, and they are doing their own thing on Instagram. Royal correspondent for the Daily Mail Rebecca English tweeted, Archie Harrison will be christened in the Queen's private chapel at Windsor Castle, not St. George's Chapel, next Saturday. There will be just 25 guests attending the intimate family ceremony. Pictures will be released afterwards. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge allowed cameras at all three christenings for Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis. Last week royal accounts revealed £2.4 million has been spent in renovations to Harry and Meghan's new five-bedroom home and has exceeded earlier unofficial estimates that taxpayers would be asked to stump up around £1.5 million of the then forecast total cost of £3 million. The work is not finished yet. The couple have been given planning permission to paint the exterior of the Grade 2 listed house this summer at the expense of the taxpayer and to landscape the gardens out of their own pockets. Frogmore Cottage, a gift from the Queen, is owned by the Crown Estate but Harry and Meghan pay no rent or lease charges under the terms of an agreement between the estate and the royal household.